Welcome everyone to Mr. Adobe where you get prime educative videos on Adobe Premiere, Adobe Photoshop and Adobe After Effects. Before getting into the video, please subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and don't forget to hit the notification bell. Without further ado, Mr. Adobe will be guiding you through today's video. Hello everyone, welcome to another cool and easy to follow tutorial on Adobe After Effects. In this video, I'll show you some simple techniques to create burning text effects. So guys, let's get started. Before creating this effect, you need to have a plugin called Saber, which can be downloaded for free from Video Copilot. So first things first, I'm going to create a new composition and name it Text Fire Effect. After naming it, click on OK. Next, go to the Tools panel and use the Type tool to type in your desired text. For instance, I am using the word Fire to create my fire effect in this tutorial. Make it nice and big and place your text at the center so that it looks good. After that, create a new solid layer and add a name to it. I am naming it Saber Effect. Then click on OK. Now jump to the Effects and Presets panel and search for the Saber plugin that we downloaded. Drag and drop it over the Saber effect layer. Next in the Effects Control panel, drop down the options for a customized core. Here you can see Core Type. Hover your mouse over it and select Text Layer. Just below the Core Type, you will see the Text Layer. Hover your mouse on it and select your text, as I am selecting Fire. Now from Presets, choose Fire. You will then see the burning text in your main composition panel. Now let's add keyframes to animate the text so that it looks like this. So I am enabling the keyframes in Start Offset and setting the start point to 100% and the end point to 0%. After that, hit the U key to view the keyframes that we added in the Saber Effect layer. Also, easy ease for smooth animation. Wow, it looks cool. This is our final burning text. Also, you can customize some of the parameters. However, you can also create really cool burning text using just the default settings. That's it for today. If you liked the video, please thumbs up and let me know if you thought it was helpful in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching this tutorial, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe us for more interesting tutorials on Adobe Photoshop, Adobe Premiere and Adobe After Effects. Till then, stay original, stay creative and have a good time!